Are you annoyed with the Windows 11 lock screen? Every time you leave your computer for a while, you encounter a lock screen, and then you have to enter your password. Some of you might also need to press the Control, Alt, and Delete buttons each time. In this video, you will learn how to disable the lock screen on Windows 11. I will show you how to disable the lock screen that comes after some time you leave your computer, and you will also see the instructions to disable the lock screen and password completely. So, watch the whole video. If you are using your employer's computer, it will have strict security measures, including an automatic lock screen. And to access the password prompt, you will have to press the Control, Alt, Delete keys. In this case, you cannot change that as you are not the administrator of that computer. However, if it is your personal computer and you are the administrator of that computer, you can disable the Control, Alt, Delete prompt at the lock screen. To disable this prompt, you need to open the Group Policy Editor. Now, if you are using Windows 11 Home Edition, you won't have the Group Policy Editor, but don't worry. We have a video that will help you enable the Group Policy Editor on your Windows 11 Home. Click the I button or check the description. Press the Windows plus R button, type gpedit.msc, and hit Enter. Here, navigate through Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Control Panel, and then select Personalization. On the right side pane, double-click on Do Not Display the Lock Screen. Here, select the Enabled option, click on Apply, and OK. Restart the PC for the changes to take effect. Now let's disable the Dynamic Lock feature. Press Windows plus I to open Settings. Go to the Accounts tab, click on Sign In Options, expand the Dynamic Lock, and make sure this Allow Windows to automatically lock your device when you're away option is deselected. Then check this option. If you've been away, when should Windows require you to sign in again? Change it from when PC wakes up from sleep to never. Next, go to the Personalization tab, then click on Lock Screen. Under the Related Settings, click on Screen Saver. Here, make sure the On Resume, Display Logo on Screen option is deselected. Click Apply and OK. Now your PC won't display the Logo on Screen after the Screen Saver. After following these instructions, your PC won't lock itself after some time. But if you want to completely disable the lock screen and login screen, you need to edit the registry. But note that your PC will be unsecured. Anyone with physical access to your PC will press the Start button and they can access all your data. It's always a good idea to take a backup of your PC before altering the registry. Press the Windows plus R button, type REG Edit, and hit Enter. Click Yes on the UAC pop-up. Let me show you what we are going to do. Press Windows plus R button, type net PLWiz, and hit Enter. You will see the User Accounts window. Earlier versions of Windows used to have an option here that allowed you to remove the necessity of entering a password to open the PC. That option is not here now, but we are going to enable that option from the Registry Editor. Now copy the registry key from the video description and paste it here, and press the Enter button. Here on the right side, you will see this Device Password Less Build Version key. Double-click to open it. Now change its value to zero. Click OK. Close the Registry Editor and User Accounts. Now open the User Accounts again using the Run dialog. You will see the option here. If you don't see it, you might need to restart your PC. Now deselect, the user must enter a username and password to use this computer option, and click Apply. You will have to enter the password to confirm the settings. Also, this password will be used to automatically log in every time you start your PC. Close all the boxes and restart your PC. You will see that Windows won't show you the lock screen and won't ask for a password. It will use the password you entered previously and automatically load the desktop for you. That's it for this video. If it helped you, make sure to like and share it with others. Do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to receive alerts on Windows 11 tips and tricks.